Hey guys, welcome back. Welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to the vlog. If you're new to the channel, I am Steve Chapman. Today, we're going to look at the Bass Casters secret box. If you're new to or never heard of Bass Casters, they are a, you can you can go on their website, BassCastersUSA.com, and for $39.95, you can get this box. Now, $39.95 does not include shipping, so when you add in the shipping, it's about nine bucks to ship, because it's, it's actually pretty heavy, and uh, if you use the code BASS10, you save 10% off the $39.95. So I think in total, I think I, I saved the 10%, so I think I was right around $35 for the box and then $9.21 for shipping, somewhere around there, give or take. So the whole thing was about $43 and, and change, 44 bucks. Now, in this box, this box is supposed to have $80 of retail product in it. That's what's the, the, the great thing about this. Now, if you were to get this as a gift, someone sent this to you for free, your aunt, your dad, your mom, whomever, this probably is going to be a great box. Uh, they, uh, they try to pack it. I can tell you this is, this is jam-packed full of stuff. But the question is, does it make the tackle box or does it make the, the, the giveaway box? That's, that's the key to this. So we're going to open this up, look at it, check it out honestly. Then we're going to go back and look at the pricing and see, is it really ha does it really have an $80 value? Especially since I paid $44 for it. So here we go. So to start us off, they gave us some Z-Bait Company. Armacrawls. These are, um, I've never seen these before. Oh, they got double packaged. Oh, they're good. Oh, they, they smell. Uh, they look like that. Yeah, they got some funk to them, man. Damn, I wish I would have looked at those. I would have looked at that first. So not bad. It looks like this is a full pack. I can tell you by looking at this firsthand because this was the this kind of was covering everything. There's a lot of stuff in this box. There's a lot of stuff in this box. So from Z Bait Company is the Arma Crawl. Next from Missile Baits, a gr another great. Um, this is another a good company. Not as bad smell. They sent a pack of Crawl Fathers, and they look like that. like a full pack again black red flake seven in the pack that's pretty decent next they sent from missile jigs Ike's headbanger jig that is the brown purple passion and that is a one ounce jig that is a smashing jig for sure from Ike and Ellie okay Next from American Originals, from Strike King, is a small swim bait, is the G5. This is uh, 3 8 ounce, dives 5 to 8 feet, and is 2 inches in length. Not bad, pretty decent little color. From Pulse Fishing is some chartreuse, 4 out 3 ounce. Looks like little jigs, but also they come with a trailer with them. Uh, I've never seen these before. You can go to PulseFishingLures.com. These are made in the USA, so that's great too. So, kind of a different bait. I have no idea what it is. Never seen those. Next, from Big Bite Baits, is the BB Kicker. Some swim baits, some soft plastic swim baits. Kind of look like a really good color, to be honest. Good tail, three per pack, not bad. From Big Bite Baits is the new, or not new, the Real Deal Shad. 
another nice little swim bait don't know how to rig it but probably fairly easy they sent a lunker text buff I guess that's their thing lunker text um, I'll go over here they sent a lucky strike smoothie that is a 3 8 ounce dives 3 to 5 feet and is 2 inches in length too another G5 actually looks like it might be the same color no it isn't this one has uh, this one has more chartreuse on the bottom than this one so I got two G5s first time I ever had a, a, a box where I got two of the same lures with two different packaging now that's crazy so so see how the the plastic goes all the way top on this one and the plastic doesn't come all the way to top on that one which one's older made in the United States of America that's great um, they sent from Lunker Hunt some finesse baits don't even know what these are oh these look like little drop shots go drop shotting really doesn't tell me anything about them on the back or the front they're called the LP Lunker Hunt LP I have no idea from Lunker Hunt some more finesse jigs some crawls these are these are also called the LP but it doesn't say what they are looks like the same packaging on the front and the back just different lures inside of them little crawfish crayfish whatever you call them and then last but not least they sent some missile baits the 48 some little worms and missile baits makes some great products to be honest I've known John for years um, done interviews with him um, he, he really puts a lot of effort and work into making sure that his baits catch fish so not bad that is it now let's let's think about this we got the lunker hunt the two big bite baits we got the missile bait excuse me the two two uh, big bite baits we got two packs of the lunker hunt we got three hard plastic strike kings we got the buff which I don't count really we got the pulse fish I don't even know what these are we got the missile jig we got the missile Crawfathers and then the Z Bait Company. Now, honestly, that 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 is completely packed. If you look at it, the jig, the soft plastics, you in this bag you alone you got you got the two soft plastic, the three hard, the three hard baits, four or five packs of soft plastics, the pulse fish, the jig. I mean, that would be a great box if. Uh, if you were to get that if this was given to you as a gift now does it make the tackle wall there's a couple things that will make probably the the tackle box most of the stuff I've never heard of I don't know I don't know most of the stuff um, doesn't mean it's not quality stuff though I mean there are name products in here so I have to give them credit for that but let's dive into it a little bit deeper now let's break it down let's look at these lures one by one if you were to have to go out and purchase these lures at a online or someplace you'd have to deal with shipping too but let's look at the prices and then compare what I received versus what the overall retail value of the box should have been we're gonna start off the smoothie is $5.99 the two Strike King G5s are $4.89 each the missile jigs where is it the missile jig there it is Iconelli is $4.99 the big bike keeper kicker is $5.99 the big bite real deal 
is $4.99. The Z Bait is $5.99. The Missile Jigs, the 48, is $4.99. The Pulse Fishing Pack, which is two, which I went on their on their site and got them direct, is $6.99. The Missile Bait Crawl Father is $3.99. And the Lunker Hunts Crawl and Worm are $3.99 each. We don't count this. We don't count the stickers. Retail value, if I went and purchased all of this stuff right now online, would be $67.67. .67. Exactly. Now I'd have to pay for shipping, but in most cases, if you go to Tackle Warehouse and you purchase where I got most of my pricing from, if you purchase it on Tackle Warehouse, anything over $50 gives you free shipping. So I probably would receive the shipping for free too. So we were supposed to get an $80 value in that box. We got a value of $67.67. This is another reason why some of these companies, and I'm not saying anything negative about Basscaster or anybody, but they overvalue the product that's in the in the box. If I have to give this this box an overall rating, I'd probably give it a solid B in the 80 to 90 percentage. In terms of tackle that comes into this box, I really do there's a lot of tackle. There really is a lot of tackle. There's no hooks, but there's a lot of tackle. They do overvalue the the the, the product. I think if we add a dollar to every one of the products in here, it would come up to averaging $80. And that's my problem with, with this. If this was given to me as a gift, I probably really would appreciate it. There's a lot of tackle in there. So I would be happy with the overall feel of it and the overall the contents of it. The na they have name brand recognition in here. There's lots of great baits in there, excluding one, and then we have to remember most of these guys do this as a marketing ploy. They, they're able to purchase the product at a discounted price so that they're, they can start to, produce, start to have a name in the industry. It's really hard for a bait company, a small bait company, to get recognized in the industry. And these bait boxes do help get the name out there. But we still have to put something into overvaluing the product. That's where I have a hard time with some of these boxes. I think Monster Bass doesn't overvalue the product, and I don't think Florida Tackle Club overvalues the product. And I like to see our honest, down-to-earth stuff in these in these boxes. I also like to see new stuff. I don't know how old these products are either. I don't know if they've been five years old or ten years old, but generally, most of the time, these boxes can 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 contain uh, contain overstock product. Uh, I didn't look into that. When I went back, I looked at just pricing. I've done the pricing now twice because I wanted to make sure I was exactly right on it. And you'll see the graphics for it. Well, you've already seen the graphics for it. So, hey guys, I hope that you subscribe, like, comment, and click the notification bell. And be part of the Get Your Fish On team. Uh, I hope you, that you're healthy, happy, healthy, happy, and that I could learn how to talk. So I hope that you're healthy, happy, and that you're able to go fishing. Remember to do a few things. Take a kid fishing, get your fish on. We will see you soon. Cheers. I've done that five times. Five times. I should I should play them all over so you can see them. Cheers, guys. Hey guys, thanks for watching. If you want to subscribe, click up here. If you want to see our last video, it should be right here. Take a kid fishing. Get your fish on. Cheers.